Hello everyone, this is Kerry Anderson. Hope you're all doing well in today's video. I'll be talking about 9 tips for how to breathe better while running. So if you like the video related to Turtle Hill, I would like to request you all please to subscribe the channel, hit the bell icon and give thumbs up so that I will come up with more and more videos with lots and lots of information. So here we begin. Let's go. Your breath is of the utmost importance, especially when you are running, which can cause you to feel short of breath. To maximize your performance is vital then you tune in now with your breath and make the appropriate improvement. This allows you to boost ease and efficiency so you can reach your full potential. Initially, new approaches may feel uncomfortable or unnatural. Over time, you will get used to the adjustment and be able to optimize your breath to make your run more enjoyable. Try these simple effective be breathing a technique to improve your running performance instead of trying to incorporate all of these tips into your running routine at once start slowly. Learn one technique at a time and allow yourself at least a week to get it down before trying another new approach. Now I'll be talking about why does it feel difficult. Strenuous activities such as running cause your muscle and respiratory system to work harder than normal. You require more oxygen trust source and most uh, remove carbon dioxide buildup which can make breathing more difficult. The quality of your breath can be an indicator of your fitness level or how well your body is responding to the place and intensity of your turn. If you are working too hard or pushing yourself past your capacity, you may experience shortness of breath, wheezing or tightness in your chest. Now I'll be talking about nose or mouth. If you are going out for a casual run at a slower pace, you may use nasal breathing. You can also choose to inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. However, if you find yourself struggling to catch your breath or carry on a conversation, you may find it easier to breathe slowly through your mouth. During high intensity run or sprints, it's recommended that you breathe through your mouth since it's more efficient. Inhaling and exhaling through your mouth allows more oxygen to enter your body and fill your muscle. Plus, mouth breathing helps you relieve tension and tightness in your jaw, which can help you to relax your face and body. Tips for breathing better while running. Make use of these simple effective strategies so you can breathe more easily and efficiently while running when trying out of new techniques start slowly so you can get a feel for it because picking up a pace first diaphragm phragmatic breathing deep abdominal breathing strengthens the muscle that supports breathing and allow you to take in more air not only will you be able to use oxygen for more efficiently but you will be less likely to experience side stitches now, the diaphragmatic breathing is especially important if you have a shallow breath. Breathing into your chest can also cause tension in your shoulders, so you may find that your body is naturally more relaxed when you belly breathe. You can use diaphragmatic breathing during your daily life as well. Now, how to do it? Get a feel for belly breathing while lying on your back. Breathing in through your nose, filling your belly with air. As your stomach expands, push your diaphragm down and out. Lengthen your exhales so they are longer than your inhales. Do a few 5-minute sessions over a period of few days. Slow down your pace when you first incorporate it into your runs. After you get the hang of it, you can pick up pace. Now I'll be talking about breathing exercise. Take time to focus slowly on your breath. This helps to enhance lung function and capacity while developing breath awareness. Discover which exercise resonates best with you. Create your own routine using one or more of the following breathing technique. Alternate nostril breathing known as Nadi Shodana. Equ breathing, rib stretch breathing, numbered breathing, burst lips breathing. Now I'll be talking about focus and form. In order to maximize your breathing and find ease while running, position your body to support health, efficient breathing, maintain good posture and keep your head in line with your spine, making sure it doesn't drop down or forward. Relax your shoulder down away from your ears, avoid hunching or slouching forward. Now I'll be talking about breathe rhythmically. Breathing in a rhythmic pattern allow you to take in more oxygen and put less stress on your body. Each time your foot hits the ground, the force of the impact can cause stress to your body. To prevent muscular imbalances, alternate your exhale between your right and left foot. Rhythmic breathing allows you to put less pressure on your diaphragm and balance stress of the impact between both sides of your body. Follow a three ratio two pattern 
that allows you to alternate which food get the impact as you exhale inhale for three four strikes and exhale for two if you're running at a faster pace you can use a two ratio one pattern if following a running pattern feels too complicated simply pay attention to your breath to get a sense of how a comfortable rhythm feel fifth part inhale fresh air it will be much easier to breathe if you are inhaling clean air if you have planned to run outdoors in an urban area with air pollution choose the time of day when traffic is at its lowest avoid the busiest road and choose street that are less congested tips if you have asthma it's important to stay active if you have asthma even if exercise seems to set off for heightened symptom when the right approach you can improve lung function and manage your symptom take a look at some drop breathing tips for runners with asthma now i'll be talking about fear with weather winds certain types of weather can trigger asthma symptom on these day you may choose to run indoor cold air contain less moisture which make it less comfortable to breathe and can trigger symptom if you do run in colder weather cover your mouth and nose with a scarf in order to moisten and warm the air you inhale other trigger include changes in the weather hot days and thunderstorm seventh part is your way in and out of running warming up in especially important if you have asthma since you need to allow your lung plenty of time to warm up slowly build up the intensity intensity to give your lungs a chance to start walking once you are nearly finished running went down so your lungs have a chance to gradually cool down eight part avoid pollen check the pollen count before heading outdoors to run and plan to run when the pollen count is at its lowest which is usually in the morning or after it rains if it's something you can't avoid consider wearing a pollen mask after your run take a shower and wash your workout clothing nine part breathing technique there are several breathing exercises that are recommended for people with asthma these exercises may enhance your breathing pattern thus bringing benefit to your runs you can try and try out uh, some of these techniques to see which one help to manage your symptoms and bring you the most benefit you can practice nasal breathing the papworth method bitico breathing deep yogic breathing when to see a doctor talk to your doctor before beginning any new exercise program especially if you are new to fitness have new or you can say they have any medical concern or take medication take care if you have any lung concerns such as asthma or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease which includes emphysema and chronic bronchitis seek medication attention if you find it difficult to breathe your experience or shortness of breath gasping or wheezing while running other symptoms that warrant medical attention include feeling dizzy faint or disoriented the bottom line with the right tools you can improve your breathing pattern while you run this straightforward technique can help you to breathe and run at your full potential aim to run a pace that follows you that allows you to breathe easily and carry on a normal conversation without struggling for breath get in the rabbit of turning into a breath not only as you run but at various time throughout the day remind you also to maintain a smooth even breath and pay attention to any variant variations as well as how your breath responds to certain situation or activities so that's all about the fitness in this video i hope you all liked it for all of you i prepared a small presentation that will be going to share in the description box below you can check it out from there so before signing off i would like to request you all please do like share subscribe this video with the loved one so that they will get to know better so this is carrie anderson signing off we will definitely meet in the next video till then god bless you bye bye and take care